Harold Schaefberger still with us. He put out this 13-minute video. And Harold, your, your feeling is he didn't properly equip the firefighters. He made them stop working at the 9-11 site and had cops come down there and say, guys, clear out. On the radios, the police department had the right radios, right? The police department had the right radios, and that is why the facts are the facts. In right. the North Tower, when the ex- when the evacuation And that's why they were able to given, evacuate, right? They were able to evacuate. There's not a single police officer, thank God, that was in the North Tower right. that was lost when the North Tower went down. And 121 FDNY. Now, do you think that Rudy likes the fire, uh, do you like the cops better than the firefighters? No, I'd have, I'm not going to make that kind of a trivial judgment. What I know but, is... But, I mean, how, do you want to give them credit? Do you want to give them credit for getting the right radios to the, the cops and not uh, the firefighters? I, probably, I, I would, uh, I don't know enough except that uh, they likely had maybe leadership that uh, pressed harder for, uh, uh, you know, for their uh, radios. But I can tell you this, the buck stops with the mayor on this incident. So you don't think the mayor showed good leadership in telling the Saudis to, to stuff it when it came to their check? You don't think it was good for him to have this, this sense of calm in the midst of chaos on those days and those weeks after 9-11? I'm... Do, you do you, what for, other decisions, besides that directly affect the firefighters, what other decisions show him, in your mind, to be a fraud? Well, I think, uh, I think he, has, he showed great judgment. I mean, this is going to be the, uh, possibly the next commander-in-chief, and he's going to be making judgments. That was great judgment to select Bernie Carrick and offer <laughs> him up as the next uh, the Secretary for Homeland Security. I mean, I think there's a series of issues. Good point that could be called into question about his uh, judgment ability. But, I mean, and also you could look back and say, you know, who was, why was the president, why did he check out on the president's background check, and then all of a sudden everything fell apart like a house of cards is. So I have no idea why Bernie Carrick got as far up as he did. Uh, that is a mystery. Are you a Bill Clinton fan? Uh, we, uh, uh, the answer is that Bill Clinton did a pretty good job for this union in resources and in support. Because he never came to visit after the 93 attack, and he was the one, according to even all accounts, that allowed al-Qaeda to flourish during his administration, but I'm sure you would vote for him again. Well, And I'm, clearly he made mistakes. First of all, Bill Clinton's not running for presidency of his the wife is again. We're on focused, basically we're his policies. On the candidates who are putting themselves forward. Who are you backing? Our next commander in chief. Who are you backing? We're not backing anybody yet. We're going through a process, and very likely in September, we will uh, work our way to make. You know, a decision. Yeah. It, it, by the way, it doesn't matter who he's backing. The, the fact because the, the stuff he's talking about is really. He's got a political really organization. The, the stuff he's talking about is really is important. The fact that Rudy Giuliani did not get them the right radios, and a bunch of people died, but, and it's a really serious issue. And the stuff that he's raising is important, and you're trying to more, distract but away. But you act like Rudy Giuliani sits there with a, check, a checklist of, like, is, no radios for the fire well, department, he, give radios to the cops. It was his cops. job. It was right. his job. If, if you know so how to give how, the radios you can't to the police department, then you, you know to bring give up the a political radios, question to someone who says, don't vote for Rudy Giuliani? Because you're implying that some, somehow this is political. It the is, facts of course are the facts. it's political. The facts are he didn't get the radios to them, and people died. Is Rudy Giuliani running for office? Is Rudy Giuliani running for office? Yeah, he's running for office. So he's running for a political office. So he's saying, don't elect him to his political office. How is this not political? Because he's not competent. To, he in, can't in your get, mind and in Harold's mind. Because he in, cannot get in radios 45% to people and save their the, lives. Okay, in, don't 45, know in 45% of the GOP feel he is competent enough to even yeah. take a serious and look most at of or them, back. Most, well, that's, and six, that's, more that's than not, 60% not, of those people don't even know these pro-choice. Uh, that's not the numbers that were reported yesterday, uh, uh, Brian. Actually, the AP uh, current, the Republican numbers show that no choice is what leads with 23%. Rudy has fallen to Is he lead, Is he among the leaders? He's at 21% with Fred Thompson, who's not in the race yet. Is he among the leaders, Harold? I mean, you can't say that about John McCain. You can't even say that about Mitt Romney. You can't say it about Governor Huckabee. He's among the leaders for the nomination. I don't know if he's going to get it. Personally, I'm stunned the rest of the country, in your mind. But I, the rest of the country, I didn't even knew, knew him to this degree well, that they would support to Harold, him. thanks to Harold, they'll know more about him and know more about well, what he's Well, they'll really know like. about Harold's perspective, but they'll also know, hey, I got a Which chance to listen to him speak. Which is a much better perspective than most people. Well, they've people. had six years after that to hear him speak. They pay millions millions of dollars to yeah, hear him speak. Yeah, his little dog and pony show. I mean, it's, it's, it's all... It's your dog and pony show, but for other people, he's the man. I know, but Harold's talking about something that's actually real. It actually okay. happened. So all the other stuff, no, no, that's says. Harold's perspective on how he treated the firefighters uh, during his reign as mayor. And there's another thing that a lot of people think that he was the best mayor uh, New York has ever had, including the well, people that can walk that, the streets and not get they mugged. Didn't think, they didn't think that the day before 9-11. 
So, you know... It's- Thanks, Harold. Uh, we'll All get right. your video. It's on YouTube. Harold Scheitberger, the president of the International Association of Firefighters. But I can't just say because firefighters didn't get radios, he's a horrible mayor. But, Brian... He, he reduced crime, reduced taxes, and what he's done to this city as but- a citizen of New York, I couldn't believe in my lifetime. Okay, but he has made his central... His central Crime, thing, no, no, no. His taxes, central thing for uh, running for president is terror. Should I, no terror. It terror. is. It is terror. Right. So if he makes that his central thing, then I think we do need to talk about the fact that how talk he handled it. how he handled this. Talk about it. And the it. fact that he knew that you needed to have these types of radios for police is more damning, not less. And, and he knew an awful lot. And now, Bill, beyond the police radios, I got up today. Not another day without radios. Uh, Matt in Chicago, Illinois. Matt, you're on Brown and the Judge. You know, just when I think you can't become a bigger Republican second fan, you know, you amaze me. Oh, you Matt. Get, it's uh, this, Matt. All right. Real well, quick, Matt, uh, get your anger out so you don't I'm kick your dog out today. I'm not anger out. What I'm pointing out here is that Giuliani's big accomplishment, his qualification for president, is watching a large city, of his, uh, city under his supervision be blown up to terrorists. That's not a qualification. And that's right. I'm trying to think of the army that Rudy had. Uh, allowed his city to be blown up to terrorists. How about reduce what he has done in the city? For anyone to even say that he didn't do an unbelievable job as mayor is just being blind to it. You, this Ryan, city, this the day, city, the day before nine eleven, the day before nine eleven, most most people in this in this city didn't think he'd done a great job. He had Ugh, he had a, he was crime, below fifty percent taxes. He was a below fifty percent. That is fine, but so people. Was, so who's right? The people that support him now or don't support or didn't support him then? The, the like, people what do you want to you want to you want to talk about before nine eleven or after nine eleven? I say the people that support him now, and it just keeps on going down and down, and it will continue to go down. The more they learn about him, it's all based on this sort of this fraud. This idea of him is this big nine eleven leader, which did he's he not. reduce crime in the city? Yes. Did he uh, clean up Forty Second Street? Yes. Did, it's did not, he? But the fact of the can, matter is, he had low approval ratings. Did he before reduce 9/11. taxes? But Brian, did he you're leave ignoring a surplus? the fact. No, but you no, don't like the pluses. Did, no, actually, if you talk to the Bloomberg administration, they the, the financial situation was nothing like he was presenting it when he was in office. You mean after so, the attack? I think it tends so, to throw off your books no, no, a little no. bit. No, no, no. Factoring that in. But the point is, you're saying he was so great. Everybody knew he was so great. That's not true. He had low approval ratings. Low approval ratings. That is fine. So those people that don't like him, don't vote for him. But there's somebody out there that likes him. Right, because they're falling and because for this little, oh, because, this little because they're show delusional. That putting on. The people that no, like them are delusional, being, and the tricked. people that don't like them are on the money. They're being tricked. They're okay. being tricked. They're, they're delusional. Not, then they're being tricked. They're being tricked. That's not okay. delusional. They're if just you being given support bad Rudy Giuliani, you've been had. Brian and the Judge. Not just what's going on, but why and what's next. Brian and the Judge on Fox News Talk.